Good morning. Good morning. Um, so <laughs> there's like there's like whole reservations around me like that. <laughs> In my, this is my dream state last night, okay? Just to <clears throat> clarify that this was the dream state, okay? My home reservation, okay? I'm from Whitefish in Saskatchewan. That entire reservation, reservation was like... Trying to gang stalk me. And then... Sandy Reservation, which I'm not even from, they're just close to my, the reservation that I'm from. That entire reservation was trying, <laughs> trying to gang stalk me, and then this one here too in Cold Lake First Nation was trying to gang stalk me all last night. So there's like three different reservations trying to gang stalk me, and then <laughs> this one girl from like, she's from Sandy, but like, she's from the same hometown as me in Big River. Her name's Desiree, but. Um, she fucking stalks me everywhere I go, <laughs> okay? And then in my dream, she was here in Cold Lake First Nation and like gathering that, that group of people to gang stalk me by telling them a bunch of fucking lies, okay? Which isn't, it isn't, it's old news, okay? This person follows me wherever I go. <laughs> she, it's just a, a stalker of mine. A really annoying stalker of mine <laughs> okay um, anyway another part of my dream was um, someone was pregnant someone was pregnant and drinking okay and they thought that if they didn't tell anyone they're pregnant then then they could get away with it with these big jackets for a while and then also she thought that if she were to drink it and then have like fries and gravy right after like you know have some food to like counteract the alcohol um it wouldn't affect the baby so much but that is not true that is not how it works people that's not how it works if you have a real issue go to treatment okay Go to treatment where you are forced not to give in to those temptations to overindulge or indulge at all. Like, it's really not good to drink alcohol. That's, it's straight up poison, right? So, I don't know. I thankfully, like, always found out I was pregnant before I like ever even started to go drinking again or or like anything really I was always on these things where I'd get sober for a year or I'd get sober for two years or I get sober for another year or I get sober for another right these like intervals of trying to get sober and on those I'd get pregnant so I was already just okay that's it then right good good I'm already I already quit I, like I didn't, never had to like actually quit because I already did so I got lucky that way I guess but like I know some girls who like have drank and then they're like oh you're a month pregnant and and the doctor's like oh it's fine though like don't worry about it I just don't drink anymore but this person knows they're pregnant okay they're trying to hide the fact that they're pregnant um, someone could have like, someone could have like stomach issues. I'm seeing like a dark, a dark blob on someone's stomach, a dark blob. Like it's like, um, it's a, it's an infection in someone's stomach or like this area here. It's like a dark blob. It's something needs to go get checked out there in somebody's stomach okay or if you are pregnant go get checked out I remember when I was in um I went to detox one time okay the first time I ever went to treatment I went to detox 
first in PA. And oh man, there was like this lady there that was like pff, about to pop. Maybe she was eight months. Maybe she was eight months, nine months, but she she was smoking a lot of, um, a lot of drugs. Okay, and um, nobody would talk to her. It was really sad. No, no one wanted to talk to her. Everybody just looked down upon her like she's like a disgrace, you know, and. She just wanted to talk to people. She really, she really wanted to talk to people. She was, she was like a chatty, chatty person, right? And everybody was just looking at her like she's a piece of shit. So I talked to her, and I let her talk to me, and we, and we. <laughs> she some stuff that was like surprising, but I didn't act like it was, you know. I just let her talk. I just let her get it out. It's so wild though she had to like oh it's never a good idea to do that because your your kid has like um uh they don't they don't even have they don't even have one foot on the ground yet man they don't and then you're gonna go and fuck with their iq and whatever else it fucks with like they don't ever really know do they but like her baby was like twitching in her belly and it was different. It was a, something different, man. It was something different. And and they don't quite know what alcohol has on the, on people. Like obviously it's FASD, but like there's lots of things that come with that. Learning disabilities, like it's just not worth it. Just go put yourself in treatment and make sure that those people know that like don't let me out until I'm done being pregnant. And then don't have fucking kids, man. But like I'm getting somebody wants more child tax. <laughs> somebody wants more child tax. So I don't fucking know. And then there was like I'm like, why are these people prejudiced? Because, like, I was wondering why, like, why would these people agree to, like, gang stalk me just based on, like, a lie that sounds like a fucking lie, okay? That isn't anything like my character. Like, these people have seen me, like, in high school, like, in, you know, when I was younger. And it isn't anything like my character. So why would they believe that heinous of a fuck? you know, why would they believe this person? <laughs> And it came back to like being prejudiced, man, some racist shit. Like, like I am treaty, okay? I'm white because my dad's white. So that's what it came back to. Like, even in the even in the summertime, there was this girl who like confronted my boss because I like was working on the res cutting grass. Um, my boss was native, like whatever. And then this girl confronted my boss at treaty days and was like, why did you hire Tori? She's white. And like, but said it in a real fucking mean way, okay? And I knew this girl back in the day. And we went to the same outreach school together. Anyway, um, I called her and I called her out for it. And then she just tried to kiss my ass. She's like, I didn't say that. Um, and fucking wanted to be my friend after right after i'm like uh. <laughs> it just mind boggles me boggles me how people think that there's still an advantage to being racist and pre prejudice right and i've seen this a lot in my life okay we're like the people i'm around my family that i'm around or like when i am on my reservation like talking shit about like white people but like I'm white and I'm native but it doesn't mean I'm that white person that hurt you man like that doesn't it's a low IQ type shit like what the fuck I don't see the I don't see the benefit in doing that to somebody where is what's it getting you does it make you feel good why why does it make you feel good to do that that's a serious question to ask yourself for self-growth.
for self-discovery data. The like, guy love my roots. Um, and it's just unfortunate that like you have to think about like you, like the way that you look before you ever want to even go do anything, right? Or like be a part of. So. I don't know if like you did get bullied like one time by someone who had the same skin tone as me, but I'm pretty sure it's just a hating ass thing, okay? <laughs> I never did anything to you and I never will. And not because it's like, it vibrates beneath me, okay? It does. I, I do rise above that. But you probably don't want to come into my dreams again. Because the ancestors aren't prejudiced, okay? And I have a very good connection with them. My higher power, the creator. Who I call God. It's more of like a spirit though. It's more of like an energy. An energy field. Okay. If I, were to, if I were to bring it to what it feels like. It feels like a real powerful energy field. Okay. It feels like a bright, 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 white light. That's all loving. That's all, all forgiving. That's all peaceful. Honorable powerful okay and it doesn't do that <laughs> it doesn't feel anything like what that is okay somebody needs to find get connected with your roots okay whatever it means to you and whatever it means to me is none of your business and whatever it means to you is none of mine racism like where the when where did when did that ever get us anywhere <laughs> uh, it's just dumb it's just dumb as shit like that's not gonna make me not like my roots any less okay i love who i am and i'm very secure with who i am as an individual okay Like, the reason that, like, I'm Métis, right? Like, my dad is, like, a quarter Native. My mom is, like, half Native. But then the treaty went down three generations, and I was the last generation. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't take a, a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Like, I can't be like, God, born me this way, please. I would love to be born this way. Okay, but I am going to go get cheap gas and I am going to learn my roots and I'm going to love every bit of it. Okay, so get over yourself. Um, I honestly don't really know what else to say to that. It's just unfortunate. That you will allow that type of barrier that someone has no control over to get, I don't know, what, to get what? I really don't know. It's idiocy, okay? And if you're not a part of that group, well, then just count. Like, if it doesn't resonate, then don't force it, right? But I'm telling you, there's a lot of people in this category. Okay, now that that's out of the way... Trust in your path. It's a soul journey, right? So all those friends, those groups of people aren't going to be on your right path. They aren't. You have what you need, okay, to reach the 
path, the right path. You already know it within you. The path to healing, to devote that time, to connect and listen to your inner self, to be able to connect to your higher self and know, know what to do in any instant, man. That's straight intuition. You'll just intuitively know what to do for healing. And there's going to be people that you're going to have to leave behind. There's going to be people who are like pff, fighting, trying to manifest chaos in your life. Okay. I was getting that like somebody was watching someone through a camera in their home. Okay. And they were thinking if they got one, two, three, four, five people to, to like chant some hateful shit, it would manifest in this person's life and they would get angry. But it was felt and it was transmuted. So even if this person did like get a little bit of anger, okay, or something, hostility, something, um, conflict, they already transmuted it. It's, a, it's already a positive emotion working for that person. It's already a positive emotion working for me. Okay. If it's really hateful, it'll be like passion, man. It'll be passion. It'll be the reason that I'm able to manipulate my way out of a challenge and not manipulate like a like, not manipulate like the way that you think. Manipulate like navigate. with passion which is the best way to navigate <laughs> for some people I'm a fire sign so it is it's my favorite way for, that's for sure <laughs> like my I feel like when I meditate I need peace but if something's brought upon me like a five of five of wands I said five of swords like a five of wands manip like manipulation conflict something to bring me conflict um that's excitement to me okay I, I don't live in that I don't like like it okay but it does excite me to be a part of it I think it's fun okay and that's because I've been around this my entire life this abuse this bullying in in order to manifest something for like be used and abused okay that's that's what I've been around my entire life so when I when I have this peace within me and then someone brings me that I I don't have a problem like I don't I just don't just deal with it and then that's that, and I go back to my peaceful space. But at least these people know not to bring that shit to me. Okay? You'll hurt yourself. Energetically, you'll hurt yourself. Yeah, because that energy has to come back, man. You better heal. This is like, a, like addiction and, and alcoholism and obsession like you gotta go heal you're like bound to stalking someone you're devoted yikes if you guys feel like someone's pregnant okay don't let them drink or don't give them drinks or don't encourage it or do but I mean don't condone that someone did some sort of ritual to get into someone's dreams or or if someone did someone's ritual but then they expose themselves via someone's dreams they want to be able to reach your work well here you are
Somebody wants to be a friend. <laughs> Somebody wants to be a friend now after obsessively stalking. So that they can continue to hold on to your finances. They feel like somebody feels like every conflict that you, you throw at them, you harness it and turn it into positive energy <laughs> to create a deeper good for yourself. Like you're protecting your energy. Yeah. That, that's what it is. Okay, so they're trying to surround you further and, and trying to like make you seem like toxic so that other people will affect your healing journey. Damn, these people need to go heal. They need to choose the right path and work on it alone. Bribery. Well, there it is. What won't you do for money? <laughs> yes, community. These reservations, okay? We're excited. You're excited. You're excited to entrap someone. To ten of swords them. So to kill them. Are you excited to kill someone? And cover it up. Okay, but you made yourself visible in my dream, man. Somebody's like, they won't find her here. They won't find her here. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Death. Wow. person's protecting themselves their guard is up somebody is also like hiding for cover like um whoever this man was that like bribed doesn't care that you're part of this like this is bigger than you know it goes back further than you know. And now you're part of conspiracy. And now you took a bribery. And now you're going to jail. Like, this person's hiding that from you. And they're also hiding behind the scenes like a little bitch, like a coward. Because they can't look this person face to face. They can't look me in the eye, okay? They can't look this person that they're trying to kill, okay, in the eye, okay? Because this this person's a fucking coward, man. Like a little bitch. Because they stole that money. Okay? They stole that money. It's whatever, though. It's whatever. They're already caught. It's just a matter of time. Um, I don't want to do this anymore. This is like for informational purposes, right? The behind the scenes. The behind the scenes of what one has to deal with in a day or in a night. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Who's always fucking stalking, always jealous, always having try to peep, always trying to have people not see eye to eye with who I am, like it's any of her fucking business, okay? <laughs> like a fucking weirdo stalker. A weirdo stalker who needs to fucking heal. Like, jeez. Someone needs Jesus. Someone needs Jesus in their life, man. Somebody needs a treatment center. Somebody needs to find their roots. Somebody needs to be less fucking racist, prejudiced, whatever the fuck you want to call it, because it proves a point. Or don't, because it proves my point. 
<laughs> just don't. Just keep living like that. Proves my point. Jealous of a new love that's not even in here. <laughs> Someone feels like that you are going to have a new love and now they're confused and heartbroken. <sighs> Star. Wow. Someone made a mistake after going after like... Those just flew out. Just wait. Problems. Wanting to cause a star problems. Someone who's very authentic. A healer. Plotting in the reverse. So plotting. Discovered. Okay. He or she is not the one. Not authentic. You should probably get a lawyer. Um, pass. Gemini. Marriage. Abuse in the reverse. Okay. There's a Gemini who claims to be in a marriage with someone and that they weren't abusive. Or there's a Gemini who was in a marriage, okay? Their person was abusive. They weren't abusive to this person. But this person was saying that there's a Gemini, a masculine, with, with a wife. Okay? Who's claiming that this Gemini was abusive to her. Physically, uh, mentally, spiritually. All sorts of abusive. Okay? But this woman's fucking lying. She's lying. She was abusive and selfish. And manipulated this man to marry her. Okay, so take that how you will. He or she is not the one. Someone created problems with like a healer. They wanted people to be like, oh, this is projection. This is projection. Someone came in like they were authentic. Now they need a lawyer. Because they lied. They were trying to pass all their problems, all their personal issues onto this person as if this person did it. T trying to create blockages in their life. Okay? But it's enlightened that you do this. You go everywhere. You follow this person everywhere they go. And you try to, like, turn people in their town. Okay? Enlightened. There's a specific Virgo here. Yeah, you set it up this way. Every time cause problems. Okay? Every time you caught plotting, man, causing problems, you're not the one. You're not. It was in reverse, okay? You're not the one. You're not the star, okay? You're a fraud. People are enlightened on this. Like, if this person comes and tries to create problems, just be like, that's a hard pass. That's a hard pass on these problems and blockages. You should probably go get a lawyer. Should probably get a fucking lawyer. Parental issues in the reverse. No integrity. Backpedal. Libra. Yeah, can't, can't backpedal out of that one, man. You're a fucking stalker. Like a hard stalker. I'm honestly like I'm so over this it's been happening to me for like four years not maybe longer okay maybe longer uh, it's annoying though like I don't let it bother me anymore I used to I used to get really annoyed but now I just go downtown and I'm just like <laughs> okay Whatever. There's an escort here who refuses to reflect. And they're very outspoken and bold. Pisces, moving on. Moving on. You don't love yourself, karmic. 
discovered hostility, discovered um, lack of vision. Okay, lack of vision. Somebody wants to break a silence here. They refuse to reflect. They want to like say something. They want to say something. They want to say that you're gay, you're gay because you won't take them back, Scorpio. They want to ruin your peace and have you unsuccessful, Capricorn. Leader. Pregnant. Be humble. These people fail to rise above. And like this stuff really happens and it's not, it's not that we need to like make anyone feel bad or anything. Like I understand how sad and depressing it can get out here, you know, um, but you have to have to be aware that just because you are that depressed doesn't mean that baby needs to not, um, have any sort of advantage in life like at least their health right at least their health so if you are you or you you know someone anyone going through this be nice be nice but get some get them somewhere get them some help not outside help okay that's not enough they need to go inside help Because this happens and, and then people feel ashamed and then people feel like even worse, right? Because people are like trying to call them out on their shit because they fail to reflect. They don't love themselves, okay? Um, but that shouldn't have to be reflected onto a, onto a child who doesn't have any like say in like who their mom is and what they choose to do when they're pregnant. So be nice to that pregnant lady, man. Be nice to them. Baby blues is a real thing and it can happen the moment you get pregnant. Be nice to them so that they don't like shun everybody out, right? So that they don't go and isolate and do that even more. Like it's, it's, it's okay, but let's get you some help. Okay, I've or I, I've lined up some help. If you're in, if you're in, there's a woman's recovery center here in Cold Lake. Okay, if you're pregnant, you'll get shoot in first. You're at the fucking top of the list, man. Okay, so know that if you know anyone going through this. Um, the Bonneville Treatment Center. If you say that they're pregnant, they'll get shoot in as well. Uh, in in front. Okay, give them a call. Let them know. Like, this is urgent, they're pregnant, right? This baby needs to be in there with her. Whatever. Whatever you have to say, but they'll understand. And they'll get you in fast. Like, you're, you're shoot it, you're in. You're in. There's no wait time. There's no one month, two months, two weeks wait time. No, you're in. And, like... I never really, like, my family never taught me anything about my roots. Like, I never really knew anything about, like, spirituality when it came to, like, my mom's side. So, like, the native side of my family, like, they never taught me shit. Um, and they meant to not teach me stuff because they were kind of rude to me. But anyways, um, I'm glad they didn't. I'm really glad they didn't because like when I went to treatment and I went to like this real traditional place, I learned my roots there and I, and I learned other people, other elders practices and it was on like a healing path. It was on like a healthy path. So this is like a collection of what I've learned on my healing journey and that's what it's supposed to be based off of. Okay. So no one can really say anything especially if they haven't healed themselves and if they had they wouldn't say anything okay so 
Okay, so we'll do this one. Angel number 67 and angel number 165. Angel number 166. Practice ignore it, ignoring negative thoughts. <laughs> it has been estimated that the average human being has around 50,000 thoughts per day. That's a lot of thoughts. Some of these thoughts are going to be positive and productive. Unfortunately, however, men, many of them are also going to be negative, angry, fearful, pessimistic, and worrisome. Indeed, the important question in terms of becoming a more peaceful person isn't whether you're, not, you're going to have negative thoughts. You are. It's what you choose to do with the ones that you have. In a practical sense, you really have only two options when it comes to dealing with negative thoughts. You can analyze your thoughts, ponder, think through, study, think some more, or you can learn to ignore them, okay? But I'm going to say let them go, okay? Because you should ponder, think, study, analyze, feel them out thoroughly, fully, and then let them go, okay? In order to dismiss them, you must feel them first fully or again later pay less attention to or not take so seriously yeah yeah because like i'm getting like someone's like obsessively obsessively obsessed <laughs> it is not healthy for anybody the latter option learning to take your negative thoughts less seriously is infinite infinitely infinitely more effective in terms of learning to be more peaceful okay so someone has no peace they have no peace inside when you have a thought any thought that's all it is a thought it can hurt you without your consent it can't hurt you without your consent okay so even like all these people all these groups of people I still have this peace. <laughs> I still have all this love for self. I still have all this love for my higher self and my higher power, the creator, right? I still have all this love and this newfound passion towards it, okay? And it's not that new. Like, I'll just be loving it and cherishing it for the rest of my life, okay? And... I don't give that consent to affect me, okay? I'll, I'll see it, I'll recognize it, I'll feel the energy, okay? I'll let it be known and now I'm letting it go. It doesn't affect me. For example, if you have a thought from your past, I'm, I'm upset because my parents didn't do a very good job. You can get into it, as many do which will create an inner turmoil for you and only you. You can give the thought significance in your mind and you'll convince yourself that you should indeed be unhappy. Or you can recognize that your mind is about to create a mental snowball and you can choose to dismiss the thought, let it go. Like, what does that trigger in you? What is making up you upset? Get down to the bottom of that. Feel that out and let that go so that you don't have to continuously do this skipping of the CD, right? Like, like repeat, 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 repeat. The, like, don't you ever get sick of thinking that same thought and going just as insane? This doesn't mean your childhood wasn't difficult, okay? It very, it very well could have been. But in this present moment, you have a choice which thoughts to pay attention to. The same mental dynamic applies to thoughts of this, this morning, even five minutes ago. An argument that happened while you were walking out the door on your way to work is no longer an actual argument. It's just a thought in your mind. This dynamic also applies to future oriented thoughts of this evening, next week, or 10 years down the road. Like someone's con consistently trying to create stagnancies and conflicts for like the next fucking how many like days. 
Oh, okay, I'm getting like there's like an escort who's like discovered they're plotting. Okay, if you have someone who is, this is for males out there, if you have someone who is recently coming to your house to get it in, whatever, <laughs> you're paying them, okay? This person's frauding you out, okay? I was getting like an escort that was like going to these people's places, but they're always on their phone. Notice how they're always on their phone, okay? Because they're getting hooked up to your internet and they're frauding you out off your own IP address, okay? This person could be like, I'm playing a game, I'm playing a game, or I'm gambling, or I'm this, or I gotta do this, I gotta do this, my daughter needs this, my son needs this. Like, they're always on their fucking phone and they always have an excuse. They're on your, are they on your internet? Maybe you should check it out. Um, or maybe you should go to that person's place to get it in there, okay? And leave your, I don't fucking know, don't connect to their internet. <laughs> because I was getting that last night as well. Like this person would like, they were like fly by night. They go to this man's house and they use his internet and fraud him out and do whatever they're doing on their phone. Um, but they get fucked up with this person and, the, and then they go over to this person's house and then this person's house and then they go home and shower and put makeup on, whatever they had to do, but like, pfft. it was like fraud. It was a fraud. Um, but like, I don't know, it's really weird. It's really weird. They had a lot of people that they were using The same mental dynamic applies to thoughts of this morning. Oh, I read that. You'll find in all cases that if you dismiss a negative thought or you ignore it or you understand where it comes from and then alter, like, dismiss it entirely, right? Indefinitely. Um, that thought won't fill your mind. A more peaceful feeling is only a moment away. Mm -hmm. And in a more peaceful state of mind, your wis wisdom and common sense will tell you what to do. This strategy takes practice, but it's well worth the effort. And it's hard to do when you're not, um, when you're around people with, with a with a different outlook on than what you're feeling inside. You know what I mean, like. People will act this way around you so that you stay that way too. So that you don't grow. Be willing to learn from friends and family. Okay, I'm gonna close it out there. It's a really heavy energy, okay? It's a real fucking heavy energy. Um, I hope that helps somebody, but like, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth being so negative and projecting that out on the world because it does have an effect, okay? It does have an effect. I hope that everybody finds healing. I really do. Because this is just... It's real sad. It's real sad how people think that's... Okay to just... Um, gang up on another person based off of fucking lies for money like come on but everybody has their own free will and they'll have to deal with their own consequences via the universe right so it's really none of my business it's just an energy that I'm picking up on and it was an energy that was sent to me this morning and I'm about to dismiss it have a good day people